guys and I'm back with another video I hope everyone is doing fantastic good morning good evening good afternoon for all the people who come out and see me I appreciate it so so much I really really do I'm just so grateful to have you always watching me and I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart um, and then I, I just tell it the way it is I'm just authentic and true so people usually see when they get a reading from me what you see on camera is what I am in person and I'm so glad to have you here I usually don't film for this channel on um, Saturday but uh, my daughter was telling me about um, Proud Boys and MAGA I guess down in DC protesting and all of that and um, I just wanted to see what was going on you know what what is their what's the end goal what is the end goal the Supreme Court just threw out the Texas lawsuit trying to sue Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, Georgia. And then also today on a special session in Wisconsin, another um, judge threw out the Wisconsin case again. So I don't know how many times Trump's got to lose or how many times Biden's got to win, but um, he's winning an awful lot if you start counting up all these trials and recounts and things like that. But I wanted to see about, was there a group, and I'm not going to say any one particular group, but um, is there a group planning to do some something or some type of coup or takeover in Washington, D.C. Or, or anywhere or with Biden or what have you? And so I spread some cards out at home already. So then when I saw them, I said, OK, I'm going to let you guys see. Remember, guys, my channel is for entertainment only. Please don't get too up in your feelings. But I do like when you write me or express your opinion. I leave room for that for you. So when I um, shuffled the cards, wanting to know, was there some group planning some harm or something? The first thing I got up was that. That is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords in this particular situation, because I'm asking about this group of people, tells me, first of all, these are small people, small-minded people, greatly immature people. They could be men, they could be women. But the sword in um, cases can say calamity, struggle, um, violence, wanting to harm. You see the sword is in the position of wanting to swing it. And so... Are there people planning that? Yes, they are. Why are they planning to do some type of harm? And the swords always speak what's in their mind. So it doesn't mean that they actually get out and do something. But it could very well just be plans or things that they're discussing or practicing for. It's thoughts. Um, why? What's crossing it is the Eight of Cups. Interesting how... The gentleman in the Eight of Cups who's walking away, if you can see that, he's walking away from the cups that are fine, they're intact. He has on red, as if that is Republicans. Um, this could be Trump, this could be Republican leadership and administration um, walking away. Uh, the Eclipse says that he decided to do that, but that's not always the case. The case can be that you have no choice, and in this case, he had no, Trump had no choice but to go away, including his cabinet. They all have to walk away. They all have to go away, whether they want to or not. And so this is the reason why these people are in their head with silliness, craziness, whatever, simply because they feel like they've got to go back in the shadows. They don't get a voice anymore. And everybody should have a voice. That's true. But it should be a voice of unity uh, we are all one country it shouldn't be talk of secession or any of that it should just be we we there was an election one group won one group didn't we push on and so i see what's the foundation of this and it is the two of pentacles the two of pentacles is about trying to find balance trying to find some stability and the reason why these people are acting up is they are losing their minds they're losing their balance they think balance it's almost as if 
they believe that if Trump leaves, their life is going to be worse off. And especially financially. How can it be worse off financially when it wasn't good? It's not good right now. It hasn't been good for them. The things that they had planned or he said he was going to do in 2016, he never did those things. Um, so they feel like they're going to lose balance. They're not going to have the larger side size of the pie. Um, in the past position, they had the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is their their feeling. They felt like everything was good. The Ten of Cups, more what what more happier life could you have been? You everything is good, and you got food to eat, and you got your family, and everybody's got their health, and you got love or whatever is disguised as love. But they had that kind of sense of unity and togetherness and. They feel like we're going to come together and we are going to do something. We're going to do something. Above them, hanging over their head, is actually the lover's card. I'm trying to pick it up off my table. The lover's. Um, the lover's um, definitely can mean sensuality, relationships, but also primarily the lover's is the six. Six meaning being reliable, being able to be responsible. It speaks of the choices, though so they've got a choice. And in their mind, they feel like they're making the right choice. If you look at the uh, female, she's not looking at the male. She's looking up to God. Okay, this is the angel. This is angel. This is Michael. This is God right here. The sun represented. She's looking up there. So it's like, this is what we're supposed to do. This is what our Bible tells us what's going on. This is our God. This is our belief. This is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to fight for this country. We're supposed to get this country to back the way we want. We don't want uh, Trump to walk away. Absolutely not. Unfortunately, that's hanging over their head. But what's actually coming up is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So for this plan, this these strategies, these um, coups, these coups, these plots, whatever, they're not going to work out. It's a three of pentacles in reverse. Three of pentacles upright says, boy, your work is being admired. You actually have the fool there in the in the red cape. You've got the monk. They're looking at the plans. They're comparing your um, the plans we drew out to what you created. Here, no. Your plans are bad. They're not good. They're doomed to fail. Your creativity is blocked. Whatever plan you came up, it can't possibly come to fruition. You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the tools. You don't have the expertise. You don't even have anybody to really, you know, support you in what you're doing. Um, you know, numbers is power. What they say, strength in numbers, and they don't have that. So this plan that they're working on is going to be a fail. Um, who are they? Who are these people? They get the Eight of Swords. These people are lost with it, okay? They don't have clarity in their mind. They are totally worried about their financial situation and getting the country back on their side. You see, it's the ongoing struggle here of the Two of Pentacles of trying to balance and juggle life, and they they can't hit the balance part, but they're worried about that. They really are. Uh, not to say, you know, I'm putting empathy, sympathy, but I'm looking at them from a standpoint that says that they are mentally confused. They don't have to be. They can walk out of this, this individual, this female, this person dressed in red again, Republican, is not actually stuck. She just thinks she is mentally stuck. They're right behind her on the hill right there. There you go. There's the house of wisdom that she can just walk out of that. But she's choosing to be almost as if um, like birds of a feather flock together. If you start complaining, then this one starts complaining. Now we got a group of us that's complaining but not coming up with any solutions. And so they feel very trapped and stuck and don't know what to do that is in their mind. Um, they do have strength around them though. So that's something that's important. They have strength inside them, and they're going to have to learn how to conquer that beast that's inside of them. They're going to have to calm that stuff down, because I know that evidently some police were not intervening when they were um, acting out. But at the end of the day, there's a lot more good ones than there are bad ones, and they're going to have to calm that beast inside of them and get the strength to hold themselves together emotionally, uh, because otherwise it's going to end up, yeah, coming back to 
to get them with the bad work hold yourself together keep it together they've got the um in their hopes position they've got the four of pentacles in reverse four of pentacles in reverse talks about they want power that is what their hope and wishes are they want power they they have a sense of greed and financial greed yeah sure but the greed of everything they want everything they want sort of a rule over everything um they don't really like any government per se but this is the closest that is is closer than an alignment to them i suppose but at the end of the day what do they want they want to have the upper hand they want to have the final say they want to have rule they want to have you know dominion and power over other people um they want to ha be greedy, hold the resources, you know, not help anybody in any, diff any different country, not help the DACA kids, none of that stuff. They don't want to do any of that. Um, so they're hoping that all that stuff can go away. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse says that you all need are not grounded. You're not grounded. You're not grounding in grounded in truth. This is a substantial card, um, this Page of Pentacles. This page says that you don't even have the money to make your whatever your goals or your agenda is come true. You don't have the money. You don't have any other resources. You're just out there in the streets um, trying to get sick. I can only imagine because they're out there. They're not covered up or masked up. And we still have people that are still actively sick. But they don't have the money, don't have the resources. As a matter of fact, they don't even have Trump behind them. Not in that obvious way, but he won't stop them either. So, yeah, whatever plans and decisions, they need to make a new choice that says, I better start getting along because this is where we live. This is our country. This is the United States, and we come together and work together. But anyways, guys, I want to just bring you that because I wanted to just see, like, what was going on with these people coming up with these proud boys or these MAGA protests, what's the end game? The end game is to take over and control, um, plan a coup, but it falls apart on itself. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll meet you in the comments. See you. Bye.